Have you ever wondered how organisms without mouth and stomach eat? We take food with our hands, eat with our mouth and digest it in our stomach. But what about organisms that do not have any of these? Sounds impossible? Let me introduce you to amoeba, a tiny single-celled organism with a fascinating way of getting food. Amoebas are so incredibly small that you cannot see them with naked eye. To spot them, you need a microscope which works like binoculars but for viewing things that are super tiny. Just like our friend here amoeba. They appear as tiny blobs of colorless jelly. And where do you find these creatures? Amoebas are typically found in fresh water, salt water and even in moist soil. Despite their simple jelly-like appearance, they have an incredible method of feeding. Let us take a detailed look at the fascinating way of nutrition in amoeba. First, the amoeba senses its food in water and when it finds something to eat, it doesn't need spoon or fork like we do. Instead, it stretches its part of body outward, forming these arms-like extension called pseudopodia. Just so you know, one arm is called pseudopod. And when there is more than one, they are called pseudopodia. So pseudopodia is actually plural of pseudopod. Coming back, it's like a big hug but with amoeba's entire body. The pseudopodia wraps around the food forming a pocket around it. This process of taking in or ingesting the food by forming pseudopodia and engulfing the food particle is known as phagocytosis, the scientific technical term for engulfing the particle this way. And this is the first step in amoeba's nutrition known as ingestion, where amoeba uses its arms-like structure or pseudopodia to engulf the food particle. Now that the amoeba has captured the food particle, with the help of pseudopodia, the amoeba traps the food and seals it inside a tiny bubble called food vacuole. Now this is where the magic happens. Amoeba releases digestive juices into the vacuole. But what are digestive juices? They are special chemicals that break down the food into simpler food particles, making it easier for the amoeba to absorb. This process called digestion is all about breaking down or converting food into tiny, tiny particles that are easy for amoeba to absorb. You will learn more about digestion in detail in future videos, especially when we cover human digestion and herbivore digestion. Now the amoeba has broken down the food particle into simpler particles. The nutrients from these simpler particles are absorbed by the amoeba while undigested particles are left behind. What are undigested particles? They are parts of food for several reasons couldn't be converted during digestion or could not be converted into simpler particles. This process of taking in nutrient is called absorption and it happens through the wall of this food capsule, sorry, food vacuole as you see in this picture. As amoeba absorbs the nutrient, it leaves behind the undigested particle and this step in amoeba's nutrition process is what we refer to as absorption. Now what stage is amoeba in? It has absorbed the nutrients into its body. So what is the natural next step? The whole purpose behind consuming food. What was that? To obtain energy, right? The process of getting energy from these absorbed food particles is called assimilation. This energy is then used by amoeba to grow and move around, helping it survive and thrive. Now that amoeba has taken in food, digested it, absorbed the nutrients and assimilated them, meaning it has obtained energy from food, is the process over? Not at all. Remember, there were some undigested food particles left behind. So what happens to them? Amoeba is smart enough not to keep the undigested food particles. 
it get rid of them any undigested food particles are removed and this process of removing the waste or removing the undigested food particle is known as ejection this way amoeba clears out any leftover unusable material from its body to summarize the process the amoeba goes through a five step method to consume and utilize food first it senses food in water and uses its pseudopodia to engulf it trapping the food inside the food vacuole this process is the first process in nutrition of amoeba and it's called ingestion once the food is in the vacuole the amoeba releases digestive juices that break down food into simpler particles this process is known as digestion the nutrients from the smaller particles are then absorbed through the walls of the food vacuole into amoeba's body in the process called absorption after absorption the nutrients are used to obtain energy allowing amoeba to grow and move around this step is referred to as assimilation however the process doesn't end here any undigested food particles that remain are removed from amoeba ensuring it doesn't keep waste material inside through the step known as ejection what a fascinating process